All right. Well, I did what I said I was going to do, and I gave him fly. So, if we look at all the moves they have, I think I have them at the bottom here. Yep, a rocket flying, beautiful Archeops, or Dodo. I gave him fly. He doesn't need acrobatics, because, well, that's a fly move he has. And I just gotta remind myself, I don't think I changed anything else, because, well, everybody else should be flying the way they are. Oh, I can't wait to get your HM, Slippy. Soon enough. One of these days, you'll get the HM you deserve to learn. They can really walk over these fools. But since it's autumn, it's a good time for us to be wandering around this kind of tower, where it's nice and cold. Yeah, I guess we'll just say it's nice and cold. For now, anyway. Why not? This tower means a perfect tower. Oh, never mind. It's a Pokemon battle. You just mean, you just think perfection is fake? Oh, God! It's Team Galactic! Oh, shit! I didn't think you were here! Oh, fuck! No, I'm kidding. It's not Team Galactic. <laughs> it's just some dumbass Ace Trainer who thinks he's all that. Oh, don't worry. I'll make sure you're not seeing as all that. Also! Good lord! We finally have the full evolved form of, uh, Lillipop. Ow! Stoutland, whose physical attack is high! Can you please leave me alone? Ow! Well, oh, you're gonna certainly give me one hard battle. Fuck. Well, good luck. You're probably gonna die. Hey, yo, welcome back, everybody, to Ow! For Let's Play Pokemon White version! This is your ho host, the MJ406, and we're still trying to climb the Celestial Tower. These assholes are just everywhere in my way and refuse to move! Then again, what else would I expect at this point? These people don't. I do nothing other than get in my way. You have good physical defense, by the way. You have the closest thing to good defense. You know what? Let's just test out your new power. Go for it, Dodo! Show them your might! Yes, we're still trying to climb this tower to get up to Skyless so just so I can battle her in the freaking gym. That's all I wanted to do this whole time. They don't make it easy. But yep, now that it's evolved, it's a monster. Anyway, I was gonna look up Stoutland. That's right. I gotta remember to actually do that. Man, you prepared for your pet for how he's gonna end his life just so he remembers? Yes, Stoutland. This is what happens when you die. You end up here. Aren't you gonna love it? You're really perfect. Yeah, thanks for noticing how strong my team is. Okay, yeah, evolves from her here at level 32. Okay, well, there we go. Either way, next evolution! Great! Progress is being made on all of you fools. First, we had Arch and Archeops, and now we have Palpatoad to what the fuck? Seismitoad! Look like you're wearing one of those friggin', like, costumes that actors try to use to have, like, <coughs> realistic movements in their friggin', like, Movies for some of the models. Jeez. You're learning acid. Alright, bro. Listen here. At least for now, you don't have a move that can deal with grass types. So I'll let you keep this. As worthless as it feels like having. Besides, uproar is too random for me to keep around for long. <laughs> yep, level 36. Palpatone evolves the Seismitoad. I am far from perfect. As are most people. Get that through your head, you frickin' cocky bit dick. So, yep. We finally have our final form. And, well, look at its stats. It's actually pretty well-rounded. It's actually decently fast. And if it's raining, it's even faster. See, so, yes, it's a water and ground type as well, for just a reminder. So, yeah, not bad. Its physical attack is a little better, though. So, you know... Probably would be better to give you... Yep, I should give you Bulldoze. Finally! A Pokemon worth giving this to! Uh, it is nice trying to remember the physical special split that... Yes, make sure your Pokemon are learning the right moves. Also, maybe worth going to the frickin'... The move reminder, see if you can learn anything good there. But hey, if I know a move that... Is better than what you have, I will replace it. So there you go! You now have Bulldoze. Enjoy. That'd be really funny if you could learn X Scissor. Damn it. Then again, it was always my hope you guys would be able to learn the good stuff. 
Well, there's only so much you can do, especially with how few HMs I have at the moment. And TMs, for that matter. But, never you mind. I could technically teach Dig, probably? I'm not gonna give it to you, I'm just gonna check. Yeah, you can learn it. Dodo can learn Dig, too. Jeez. That's the thing about Archeops. It has a pretty wide move pool as well. That's why it's pretty competent. Oh! I can get you here, too! Well, wow. So nice of you to get in my way. Wait, you're really dead. I have to be careful about how I use it. I keep thinking I have Quick Balls! Damn it! Oh, man. Alright, fine. Let's at least test this thing out. Let's see how strong you really are. Jesus! Oh, you got a critical hit. That's why. Either way. Ooh. Now you can see why he's called Slippy. He fully evolves into a toad. And well, I'm gonna let him embrace that role greatly. Now it's your turn to get experience. Because you have a long way to go, Vector. I'm trying to think. I think you need a lot of experience before you can evolve. I, I want to say he evolves level like 38 or 39. I definitely want to try to focus on evolving these Pokemon, primarily over giving the rest of experience. It's only the right thing to do. Hey, don't cut me off! Put my group of you and I put my group elsewhere. Both rest here quietly. Yeah, I guess so. So you guys take in forward Pokemon as well. And again, I would hope a graveyard wouldn't be biased. That'd be pretty fun. Then again, sadly, I could probably see that being a thing. That people that run freaking like graveyards and all that have a bias for what things get buried there. Yo! That'd be fucked! But like I said, I can see the bias because people are assholes. It's a real shame because they're dead. What's the point of hating something or being against something that's already dead? I feel like there'd be no point to having something that's dead. Oh, wow. And this thing already evolved. And, well, just like before, if I mention the first exclusive, it has an evolved form. I'm not going to show what it is, just evolve the fucking thing. In case you're wondering how to evolve this, well, I'm going to look that up. Because I never remember a lot of these evolutions on the top of my head. Okay. Level 32. That was level 32, right? Because that's where it evolves. I'll just say it does evolve again. It evolves to level 41. Might be a simple, similar evolution for, um, Solosis to Duosion, and then Duosis to its last evolution. Oh, scary face. Wow. Cool. Lowering speed greatly. Yeah, thanks. What am I, full life? Oh, jeez, what happened to you? I don't know. I'm terrified. Well, Grum, you know my fucking robots where all our precious Pokemon. Exactly. Why should we have to try to segregate the Pokemon that are foreign? Or, yeah. Former lives. Why would we have to separate those that are foreign and those that are domestic? That'd be so stupid. Like I said, some people are dumb. I don't want that guy foreigner sticking their old four feet in my graveyard! Dude, they're dead! What's the point of being mad at them? They're gonna ruin my soil! You know, you run a graveyard, dude. I'm pretty sure the soil is already meant for this kind of thing. And with all the other bodies in there, it's gonna be ruined anyway. They'll make it worse! They got the diseases! Alright, shut up, you fucking old fart. It's already a dead body. They go through stair decay like every other domestic body you have in there, however you want to phrase it. God damn it, I wanted to get him up the stairs without getting caught. For some reason, I thought I'd be safe on the stairs for these things, but... Goes to show that I do not have such luck. Well, I'll keep my repels off so I can try to get Elgin. Why not? It's a somewhat decent psychic type. Woo! Shadow Claw! Well... If they can't learn a good physical dark move, I can teach a Shadow Claw. That might be useful for, um... What's his face? The favorite one? Um... Not the favorite one! Flick! Yes! Flick! There you are! I was hoping you'd show back up again. I just have to not do something that would absolutely kill you. That's all. So I'll cut you! There's no way this will kill you, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Yes! Keep using Psy Beam! Understand your failure! I would feel offended if there are people that are racist against dead bodies, though. Like, for real. I would actually be, like, offended for the dead people's sake. Like, what the hell? Can you really be offended by somebody that's already dead? Then again, 
We technically have a lot of people that are still offended by Hitler. Then again, considering what he did, I guess there are some exceptions to that rule. Depending on what they left in history, then yeah, I see being offended by them, but not just by the way they look, you know? Anyway, here's Elgium, the cerebral Pokemon. This Pokemon had never been seen until it appeared from far in the desert, 50 years ago. Wow. Must be must have been a child that frickin' just gained psychic powers after being abandoned by its parents or some shit. If that was actually right according to a later Pokedex entry, that would be kind of sad. Now, like I said, there's always a lot of dark Pokedex entries if you really want to get into the creative side of things. I say, I'm pretty sure there are some creepy ones in Gen 5 as well. But none that pop up on the top of my head, although we did just have the fucking uh, Litwick who basically leads people as a guide and then saps their energy to basically drain them of their life force as it makes them follow them. So yeah, there's one right there. What the? Winter now? What the hell? It took a while, but it's winter, so I guess there's something. And there's more of the peak of Celestial Tower as well. It's just more Elgems, I guess. Well, thanks, I guess, but I'm not really trying to get involved with whatever this is. Please move out there. My way, you fuck! Yeah, I was really hoping I'd have Rock Slide by now. Now I can have Dodo freaking walk all over the gym. But unfortunately, I don't have that option right now. Alright. I think we have enough of the experience I've gotten. How about we just repel the rest of this away so I don't have to deal with it later? Or now, rather. I just want to get on the plot. I've been up here long enough. Nothing up here, though? Wow. That's actually... Kind of excited, there's not much going on. Hey, Skyla. Oh, you came. Thank you. I was right. What I saw was a hurt Pokemon. Don't worry, though. It's fine now. I gave it a max revive. Then it felt better and flew away. It was almost dead. Wow. Good catch. Hehe. <laughs> Don't have great eyesight. No matter how far away things are, a pilot's eyes can see them. So you're a pilot, eh? Oh, that's right. Since you've come this far, why don't you ring the bell? Celestial Tower spell is for soothing the spirits of Pokemon. Also, the character of the person ringing the bell is reflected in its sound. Oh, right. So this is going to be my analysis, huh? Come on, don't be shy. I kind of don't want to do it. It's Celestial Tower Bell. Will you ring the bell? The bell is left untouched. I don't want to touch it. I might break it. Bro, rang the bell. I mean, why not? I have always wanted to ring a giant bell like this. So the bell reverberates through the area. Did you hate it? What a pretty sound. Bro, you're a kind and strong person. It's that kind of sound. I'd like to introduce myself again. I'm Skyler, the leader of the Strong's Pokemon Gym. I just fly type Pokemon. Well, at least you got rid of the mystery. Thank you. I appreciate that. When you're ready, please come to the gym. I'll give you a big welcome. Can I get a hug? I'm sorry. I'm lonely, okay? <laughs> I thought when she made a big welcome, she'd give me a big hug. Are you that desperate for our attention? <laughs> Not attention, affection! Oh, God. You're making it creepier. But yeah, you should not have... I've always said it before. In case people ever have biases against people, you should bias people on their actions. Not their looks. Not their beliefs. By their actions. Because actions always speak louder than words. And well, you can only really see a person's worth by what they do. Not by what they say. Well, what they, if what they say is followed up by things that they do to follow up as being bad, then yeah, you can judge them that way. But I meant more their looks and their beliefs and, you know, as long as it... Is it hailing? Oh, no. Oh? Well, I can't help but walk into this grass and it's rustling. The wolves have seen one of you. Maybe we'll see how much experience you give off right now. Level 26. But yep, just know the weather can change depending on the season. Now it's fucking hailing. So, you know, if you're on ice type, you're gonna get buffed by hail. Careful about that. Always something to beware. Oh, damn. You have a lot more attack. Oh, thank God it's a bail. Oh, God, my fears were almost realized. Oh, you dude, I'm not gay. Stop trying to get me to swing that way. I just thought. No. Knock it off! Okay, I'm sorry! Well, it was a test drive anyway. 
You're a monster. You're probably right. I could probably fully agree with that, too. <coughs> yep, you're gonna take a while to level up, Vector. I'm sorry. But... Oh, right! Kumchu! Pokemon do change their appearance rates in certain rounds based on the season, and Kumchu is an ice type. <coughs> oh, man, I'm sorry. My throat's still a little rough. I'll try to not make it so bad. But, yep! Well, in case you need another power of the ice type, Jim. I mean, the... Excuse me. Fly type, Jim. Ow! You have Kumchu here. Ow. Well. Yeah, it's a somewhat decent ice type. What evolves into is better, obviously, but. Yeah, it's a teddy. It looks like a teddy bear, but it has, like, snot coming out of its nose. Oh, believe me when I say this, its evolution also doesn't look that great. Oh, come on! That's already hailing. You don't have to make it worse. Just a nice, pleasant reminder. If you have, um, Blizzard, I'm pretty sure when there, it's hailing out, Blizzard is 100% accuracy. Like Thunder, when it, there's rain outside. I want to say Fire Blast, but it's a sunny day, but I don't think that actually gets that effect. I think Blizzard gets 100% hail, though. Now, that's something I'll have to look up and actually verify. Would be nice to know for sure. Anyway, here's comes through the chill Pokemon. Its nose is always running. Ew. It sniffs the stock back up because the mucus provides the raw material for its moves. Ah, uh, so I'm basically all the ice moves I get hit by are snot. Talk about getting sick. God damn. That's just a one-way ticket to getting sick for good. My goodness. No, thank you. It hails everywhere in the winter. This sucks. I will say, though, I did want to be around this area during the winter because, uh, like I said, the seasons actually changed some things, and, well... It becomes very obvious once we get to this point, so... Yeah, don't worry. You'll play time to appreciate how useful the seasons can be. At least I hope you will. I do like the seasons as they change. Well, let's see if we can knock on the gym real quick. I doubt it, but it'll be nice to check. If only it wasn't so goddamn far away! And you're playing out of the runway! I'm trying to go to the gym! Well, I went as far as I could go anyway, so I may as well just do this now. Actually, I'd rather, I'd like to save the gym for a whole episode if I can, just in case. Besides, seeing the, co the consequences afterwards would be interesting. Besides, now I can fly again, thanks to my lovely Dodo, we can finally go back to frickin' Nibasa and see how deadly some of these athletes could be. I also want to see if they got all the sports around. I'd be very curious. And I also just reminded, now I'm casually thinking about it, that Flick has not been getting a lot of experience lately. I've been definitely ignoring their growth because they fully evolved early because I forced it. <laughs> You're gonna keep getting massages until you evolve, damn it! I really spent nearly a whole month giving that fucking bug massages. But hey, that's that's what I thought it needed. So I gave it to him. He needed it, so I gave it to him. For the fraternity of bros! All my bros are gonna be as strong as possible, and you are gonna help me enforce that stereotype, Flick! I mean, okay. <laughs> yes, we are the fraternity of bros. Is it football again? I swear to God, if it's fucking football again. I should be careful, though. Yeah, it's football again. There's a third trainer there, though! That means that it's gonna be tough. Okay, they're still in their 30s. Damn it! Well, if there's tennis here, it might be worth doing. Well, I'm gonna do the battles anyway, but I gotta remember those are two dar those are two Darumakas over there. Yep, it's Darumaka and then a battle of doubles with Darumakas. I remember how these work. I paid enough attention to know what these. Are. What the hell's happening here? Oh, I'm sorry. You got out of the court because the game is in progress. No, oh, what game is being played right now? It's freaking 11:17. I wonder. What happened to me? Is it tennis? You see, that was a great muscle move. Good muscle, good hustle. Well, of course, cool, so I want to be on that court. I still can't tell. I see grass, but hey, big money! No, I will. I mean, I will gain glory. <laughs> big money. Uh -huh. I gotta play my next game. We love sports. We love watching them all the time. <sighs> they say court. I can't tell if it's tennis or basketball now. Leave him alone. 
Alright, let's go battle the football player instead since I'm already here. Why not? Now Flick can't even do much because he freaking is gonna get burned! Oh, I can teach it bulldoze. That just seems like a little much, don't you think? Although it was the battle of thinking of it, Skull Pete's that would still be bad for me. <clears throat> because I would not want to deal with that either. Well, let's at least make sure it is what I think it is. We want to be any team sports. We want to go fight as a duo, too. Yep. The football crowd's the exact same ones. They do all line up by the entrance, so, you know. You'll know which ones you're fighting because of them lining up here ready to get their butts whooped. I think they're going to raise their levels again once I beat the next team, though. Well, at least enjoy the beatdown and give them while I can. Assuming I can't give them a beatdown, of course. If I can't, now I really feel like an idiot. If I can beat up these freaking Matryoshka doll wannabes, I'd be afraid of what lacking power I do have. A lot of lacking power. No! Because, well, with how much I trade... Oh, God! Fire Punch was on its way! I am not a fan of you trying to do Fire Punch. I will sure that you die if that's what you want so bad. I did forget that Flick has payback, so it doesn't need Shadow Claw. If you can teach it a dark move or a, physical, or a ghost, I could not do it well at all. I could not do it right at all. You're better off doing a, a dark over a ghost. I say, I'm trying to think there's not really advantage having a ghost move over a dark move. Because ghost is good for ghost and psychic. Dark is good for ghost and psychic. They literally have the same strengths, I just realized. Wow, that's dumb. Playing this game is difficult. We can do more great things and we can understand what other people are thinking. But Ghost can't hit normal types, so you're definitely better off. POWER! You know that power that nobody can beat? You can win both local battles and football games! I guess, yeah. Ghost moves can't hit normal types. That's the disadvantage they have over Dark-type moves. But I want to say that maybe Ghost has less resistances? Like, Dark can't deal with fighting types, but Ghost can. And... I think, is there another one? There's another one that really sticks out of my mind, though. Ow! Well, that smarts. I guess I deserve that one. For thinking I can actually win that, I deserve it. Well, screw me, then. So much for the lucky egg treatment. Because they'll just shock you to death, you stupid Atrioshka doll. How dare you embarrass me? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Thing, you know, the, the whole typing chain thing, I never fully remember all the things that all Pokemon are strong or weak against, because there's always so much to remember. And it's not always easy to remember a lot of it, to be honest. Because they too make it a little difficult to remember it sometimes. Especially since it changes every once in a while. Not that it's changed lately. Then again, well, the typing has always been the same from Gen 2 through 5 here. It doesn't change again until next generation, they finally bring in a new type. And actually adjust some based on, you know, what the typings were like before. They do change some of the resistances, I think, for steel at least. I still have no power! But yeah, I think overall you're better off giving a dark move than a ghost move. Maybe I should train more. Because dark can hit normal, even though it can't do much against, you know, fighting. You know, it's all about your best judgment for what your Pokemon needs to be ready to fight against. So yeah, just be ready for whatever you have to fight against, and you'll be fine. So is it worth me going anywhere right now? Not really. But the thing is, I need to learn another HM before I can really explore the world. You know what, screw it. Let's go make progress in this fucking gym. Why is it only healing this part of the area? And then again, this is the part of the area that would be most afflicted by the hail, so... Yeah! Definitely worth taking into consideration that, yes, this would be bad, being in this hail, at least out here. Also, don't have my bike. I gotta remember to use this more often. This would help me get around a lot faster. You can tell I'm playing Soul Silver. I like having that Pokemon follow me around that game. Oh, my gym! Gym leader Skyla, no certified trainers yet. Please fresh water. It's cold outside. You can use the fresh drink. I mean, probably. 
Your queen would be rock electric ice. Flight names have more weaknesses than people know about. These power moves of those types. Bigger is practically yours. By the way, to receive this gym, you climb into the carriage and move forward. Cats go up, down, left, and right. You can get in them from anywhere. That sounds lovely. Oh no! Ah! This bitch is actually using cannons. This bitch is nuts. I do kind of like it though. Oh no! Okay. I got scared that was gonna be worse. But yep, you have reason to keep firing yourself through these cannons to make progress. Damn! What kind of monster actually goes out of the way to use cannons to have people progress in this place? What do you about the cannons? Isn't it great that you can experience how blind people might feel? Next, experience the feeling of losing a Pokemon battle! Thanks. I so want to experience what it's like to lose. <laughs> I've never lost before! You guys really gonna be able to teach me? All right, I remember her prime Pokemon. That's not gonna be fun. Because it's a Pokemon, I would've thought about having it. I have 18. At least she doesn't have Archeops. That would be terrifying if she had one as well. Ha! <laughs> oh, oh! So you're approaching me, huh? You're not running away, you're approaching me! Okay, what? Ah. I guess your cockiness has some merit. And you try to do it again! Well, fuck you! Eat some charged beam and shut your freaking mouth! Sometimes these birds are freaking morons. Yeah, you know at this point, I probably should just try to finish off this gym. I would've been better off not going to the freaking stadium. Why well, didn't know one of the other things to have a sport progress? And how come I only run into the football players? There's the other big sport there I never run into for some reason. Like, what the shit? I was blown away! They really don't run, want me running into that, which is really unfortunate. I'll be stronger if I play well thinking about Pokemon. Victory will come my way. Yeah, you'd hope so, anyway. I wish you luck in that front. I just don't think you're gonna get that luck. Is this a landing zone? In order to come higher, I practice it really hard. Dude, you guys are going through cannons. You don't need to learn to jump. It's not like you get in the cannons like, Alright, guys, watch my low jump! Woo! They fucking fly! That would be fucking impressive, though. That would be impressive. Their long jump that has always been elite. I will say it was one of the more interesting events I've always enjoyed seeing in the Olympics for a lot of the athletes. Having the long jump and the sprints. And sadly, that, that might be one of my favorite of the one of my favorites of the Olympic events. I don't know what it is. There's something about watching people run at full speed and try to really like throw themselves forward with their legs. Maybe it's just I like running so much. I don't know. But yeah, I have always been impressed how far people can leap and run. No problem, either I lost, I will just prepare and jump again! Yeah, I bet you will. Good luck with that. Trainer, do you remember what you were told at the beginning? The cats go up, down, left, and right. You can enter them from anywhere. How about that? I am good at imitating him, aren't I? Now you just wasted my time, bro. I didn't need to hear that at all. Whoa! Man. Oh, no, they have an officer here? Oh, no. What are you trying to get? Illegal traders? Every game pilot, which has been my dream since I was a child. I'm extremely strong. Bring it on. Oh, you're a pilot. Oh, thank God. Sorry, I see the uniform. I always think you're part of the military. Then again, there are plenty of people that go through military training when they're becoming, like, there are probably a lot of former Air Force guys that probably just retire from the Air Force and just become, like, regular pilots for, like, airlines and stuff. I imagine they gotta have it kind of rough, too. Because they have to literally just fly around all day. And in case people aren't aware somehow, you guys do remember that planes are fucking complicated, right? Planes are fucking complicated. <laughs> in case you don't remember, planes are complicated. You have a lot of things to worry about with Stabilizing the whole plane, especially with a lot of passengers on board. Having to actually, ow. Having to actually, you know, being able to monitor every single engine, stability of the plane, the altitude and all that. Being able to watch out for inclement weather, try to watch out for other planes flying around. It can be really complicated. I'll do this driving silly. I'll prepare for landing. And again, it is one of our most efficient ways of travel. It just happens to be most terrifying is how much you can easily kill us. And being a pilot makes the dream of my younger days a reality. 
Well, he's quite comfortable. Yeah, I guess you would feel comfortable achieving your goal. I would, too. What the? Hey! Why can't I go over there? Just remember they told you. Look for the arrows. You can see you can enter from other ways. That will tell you to go another direction. God damn it. This gym is going to be a long one, isn't it? And here I thought it was going to be short and simple. I didn't realize once I got out of the gym, it's going to be very hard to get out. Now, I should have known better by now. Damn cannons. Target lock of war. I was shooting down my flight technique. No, 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 no. Don't have PSD. PTSD attack. Don't, don't, don't. We're not war. We're not war. It's just Pokemon battle. Relax. Oh, God. I hope he's fine. Oh. Okay. We ran into the Pokemon already. Funny thing is, I think this... Oh, no, this isn't the prime Pokemon of uh, the gym leader. That's right. Her prime Pokemon's actually weaker than that. Actually kind of sad. But, yep, here we go. If you can't tell, it's the final evolution of... Ha! Ah! It's the final evolution of... God damn it! P-Dove. It is unfizzant. And the cool thing is... Well... It actually has a completely different look based on its gender. So you see, this is the male, which has a crazy, like, face mask on for some reason. I believe the female one looks more like a plain bird. What? I missed the target. That's right. You can't do it when you're not actually flying a plane, you weak, worthless being. Oh, sorry. We depend on a move that hits without fail when it counts. For example, air releases swift are both sure far boobs. I have a strong feeling that Skyla is going to give me Aerial Ace. Just call it a hunch. I really believe that's what she's going to do. My plans are perfectly honed. I cannot lose. But yeah. But again, I have been yet to fly on a plane at all. I feel like I should someday. And again, I haven't had a reason to need to fly on a plane because, well, I don't go anywhere that really needs to resort to me actually flying around. Why would I? If I'm not going to fly, what's the point? You guys really love using flying moves on an electric type. You guys are stupid. Well, at least you don't have a ground move. Which would be really stupid. Well, I was, I was going to say it'd be really stupid. Then again, on most electric types that aren't freaking my condom here. Oh, no! I'm not letting you die like this! Oh, wait, you're a flying type. That's going to hurt you. In that case, Slippy! Save him! Save my boy! Do not let him die in vain. Then again, your name proves that you are the sacrifice that must be made. I'm gonna scald you to death. Oh, good! You made it so I can kill you. That makes me feel a lot better, honestly. Especially since you are going to burn. And burn badly, mind you. Thank you for getting involved. Yes! Level 38. I love it. No way. What part of my fighting style did I forget to double check? All of it. Most of it, honestly. Check after check after check. Complacency leads to accidents. Yeah, you're right. And yeah, pilots have to do a lot to make sure they actually, you know, can fly. Ugh. Can fly peacefully without having to worry about other people's safety being put in jeopardy. And again, I would hope most people would know that Pilots go through a lot to make sure that they can do their job well. Because it can take a lot. Oh, I'm gonna give you a levity. Honestly, I'm kinda glad I did. Oh, yeah, I have a resist wing. I forgot about that. An HP up, iron. I don't wanna give you guys defenses. Yeah, who cares? Alright, looks like I'm almost at Skyla. Whoa! Ooh! Ring shot. I love when I actually shoot real rank. What is Star Fox? Ugh! Double rig. He always seems to be a big Star Fox fan. Whoa! God damn! Ow! Yo, bitch! You think you can cover the cannon a little better? Yo! That hurt a lot! You mind? I could take the cannon to leave, but I'm already here. So. Hehe, <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Do you enjoy flying to help with the strong gym cannons? They're my pride and joy! This time, let's try something else. How about you try something that's more safe for people? Let them take, like, paragliders or something. That'd be fucking awesome. Anyway, here we go. Our gym leader, Skyla. That would be great with flying types. 
And yeah, I will say she's definitely not a pushover. And again, the last move bag fought fought was anything to go by. It's gonna be a lot more deadly than I'm expecting. Well, it's a good thing I'm going with freaking Spark! Instead of Charge Beam. I would have felt stupid about the Charge Beam after you did that. But Paralysis would be even better right now. I mean, my bitch, it's the best for you. It's like I'm way on air! I'm glad you're so excited to fight me like this, Skyla. Now again, I guess she gets a she gets a combat high. Is there like a flying high for being a pilot? Eh. I wouldn't worry about it. You really use two hyper potions in a row. Man, I should have just gone for Spark again. Well, I'm glad you wasted both your hyper potions in your first Pokemon. Now I don't have to worry about any more of them. There you go, that'll help me out for later in the fight. As long as you survive, of course. What are you doing? <laughs> Damn it, you used this special tech went up. I got a raise in my special defense. Um, Spark. Sis, did you not notice what was happening? Wow, all right, that was a pretty dumb strategy. I'll give you that. I really gotta hope you survive this. Yeah, but it's female on present. See, looks a lot more normal, don't you think? Ah, shit. I should have gone with frickin' charge beam. I got careless. My thinking. Oh, well. Take it! Yes! Oh, man. Having a lucky time for this gym was a brilliant move. Now I'm being smart. And it goes up again. That Pokemon you have last is dying in one hit. Oh, baby! See? You gotta protect yourself from things like me. And here's her final Pokemon, who's a fucking joke if you're an electric type, which is why I have this. So, this is my last Pokemon, but I'll never give up hope. Well, it's Swan Up. If you can't tell, it's the evolution of Ducklet. And it's fucking simple to kill. So, I just gotta do this. And, well, yeah, you can do that to heal yourself, but you're not gonna survive long. You evolved the right level as well. Evolved level 35. So, I'm so glad you accepted the punishment. Ha! Your water and fly type can't match up to the power of my condom. It's been through a lot. You really can't even use condom around? Sorry. You're going to battle this new way of me something. Thank you! Damn it. I got too distracted to make my joke. Either way, I'm glad I did all that fighting with you, so now you can finally evolve! God damn! So our first evolution for Tynamo! Now it's when it gets fucking creepy. It is now... Bleh. It's a... Uh, electric. Yeah, it's basically an eel. An electric eel! It still keeps levitate, by the way. All of its forms keep levitate. Oh, you get crunched right away? Well, goodbye, Tackle. Honestly, I probably should have gotten rid of Thunder Wave. Yes! Yes! I love it! You're an amazing Pokemon trainer. My mom and I are happy because for the first time in a while, we can play with our full strength. This is an official league chip badge. I think it will look good on you. All right! Finally! I got myself a freaking badge! For the fly types. Damn straight. That was fucking a walk in the park. Except for the ones friggin' fresh water I'd use. Wow, hot stuff! Pet chip, many chip badges, just pull out to level 70, obey you! Well, since these are a Pokemon battle, I'd be very happy. I want you have his TM. Oh, I can get acrobatics back. All right, cool. I'll consider it. I can use acrobatics. These are the have a held item. It's power doubles. It's pretty technical move. Wow. Be sure to compensate for the lack of a held item. By the way, when a blue or twist mountain on the way in Icarus City, Deep Plasma is at the deep. Hey, we're there for the city. What kind of people are they? Oh, no. Icarus. Oh, sorry. I gotta read that again. Icarus City, where you'll find the next champ is past Route 7. Just have you cross Twist Mountain. It's a hop, skip, and a jump when flying, but it's a really challenging walk. Heads up! Make sure you're ready for it! Yeah, 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 thanks. Alright! Let me hurry up. Whoa! Ow! I made it. Woo! Not many people look that good being shot out of cannon. You made it look easy. Congratulations on your victories against a gym leader. Yeah, thanks. Alright, I'm gonna end this episode here. But yep, there we go. I. You gotta be fucking kidding me! You may say it's for understanding one another better. What trainers really use battles for is to compete. And they hurt each other's Pokemon. Am I the only one who finds this terribly painful? Yeah, apparently. Whatever. I'm gonna talk to your Pokemon. 
I've been living with Pokemon since I was born, so it's easier for me to talk with them than with people. Because Pokemon never tell lies. How do you know that? Hey, Electric. Oh, God, is that thing named Condom? That's horrible, dude. But he definitely kind of traded a Brobus. Oh, it hates me, doesn't it? Okay, okay, get it. So, Bro was born new in my town, lives with Mom, and was given the Pokedex to start with a journey to see the world. Wow, what a kid. Um, I am a kid, dude. Still, he's the electric trust for some reason. That's good. The very person that Pokemon cared about one another like you two do. Anyway, to the future of people and people, Pokemon, without having to liberate Pokemon for people who just use them. See? I'm not so bad. Gets the season key plasma to search for some special stones. The late stone and the dark stone. He still until the essence of two legendary Pokemon. It's said that when they lost their physical form, they fell into a slumber and were transformed. Now they wait for the hero's arrival. I should resurrect a legendary dragon type Pokemon from one of these stones and become its friend. That will show the world that I am the new hero. Everyone follow what I say. They'll love me. I want to be loved by people. Hang on. My vision is to change the world without using force. I don't need affection. Try to change the world by force and just make others resist. People resist. The ones that we heard are the innocent Pokemon, used by foolish traders. You understand. People are not Pokemon are not just tools for people to use. I said people. People are definitely tools for people to use. That's why I said Pokemon, dumbass. As a result, Pokemon traders who care about one another, like you and your Pokemon, will be separated. And that does break my heart a little. Why can't you just make an exception? I must do it with extreme prejudice. You understand. God damn it. Well, he sees I'm not a completely evil dick, somehow. Huh. I'm glad he fell for the, fa for the facade. Let's end this episode. It's been over 40 minutes. Come back next time, and we're going to basically try to go through the Twist Mountain to get to the next place. It's Icarus City, where we have another gym, and Team Plaza's already there. Once again, they got ahead of me, and End is here to warn me? Why does he keep following me around? Oh, no. Is he actually interested in me in that way? What do you mean by that?